we're still here today in the VLN building, which is going to be the main building where we're going to pre-assemble the cranes for Project Invictus. And it's a momentous moment because we're now in contract with Hazo, who are going to supply the cranes for Project Invictus for Tata Steel. It's really important that we have an excellent partnership with our manufacturer for the cranes. We've chosen Hazo because they take a real pride in involving our operations and our key stakeholders in the design element. And also, we've got a proven history with them that we've also been able to do some learnings from previous projects so they understand how we work as a company. On a day-to-day -day basis, these cranes are going to make a huge difference across the plant. The main or the key areas really are safety and reliable operation and we want to give that to the plant so it can help everything work together in unison and obviously the crane drivers and the operators we're going to do as much as we can to make the cranes optimized so they get the best experience from driving these cranes and helps a smooth operation across the AF. For us it's it's an honor to to be a part of this project and to contribute to the decarbonization in in UK, uh, we consider that it's a, a very strategic project, not only for Tata Steel, but, but also for the development of the UK steel industry. So Hasso Cranes is a family-owned company. It's more than 60 years old, and we are located in the north of Spain, in the Basque Country. And we develop our first process cranes around 45 years ago and together with our participating with our customers we develop uh, different technological solutions mainly within the steel industry during the last uh, 35 40 years so well, to give an idea of the scale of the cranes we're studying this building and this building is where we're going to use to pre-assemble the cranes We've actually purchased three 500 ton cranes, two 80 ton capacity cranes, and two 35 ton capacity cranes. And to give some scale, at one time, we'll be using this area to pre assemble a 500 ton crane, a 35 ton crane, and maybe an 80 ton crane. So the scale on them is absolutely huge. And the 500 ton cranes are around 920 tons each. And that's without the ladle on them, which is 500 tons because the cranes are 500 ton capacity. So the scale is absolutely huge. And I would say you need a large football pitch probably for one of these 500 ton cranes. We're really on the trajectory now to a green steel future and the cranes bring it all together. It's one of uh, the most, uh, let's say, challenging projects just so during the, the last years, not only due to the scale of the project, because it's uh, massive, uh, we are talking about seven process cranes of uh, capacities up to 500 ton capacity cranes. And also the timing of the project is a very challenging one as uh, we have to deliver all the cranes in, in around two years. So to get the cranes operational, there's absolutely loads of steps. We first of all start with basic engineering, then we go to detailed engineering, then we start going into planning and there's manufacture involved. And through that then, through manufacture, we get the cranes delivered. Then we come to the VLN, where we're going to pre-assemble all of the cranes. And then after pre-assembling them into probably five main components for the large cranes, we need to transport them to where we want to install them. And from there then, we'll be using a large capacity crawler crane to install them. And to get them installed, we need to put roof openings in, we need to do all sorts of things. And once we get them up on the gantry rails, we've got further assembly work. And then from there, we can start our commissioning process. So we've got a huge amount of work ahead of us, um, but we're really excited to get stuck into it and enjoy the kind of next couple of years. And we're all gonna be very busy.